Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line. And today's topic is unless otherwise specified. Today's question was, I'm seeing prints that contain notes stating UOS profile of a surface 0.2 millimeters with respect to A, B, and C. That UOS stands for unless otherwise specified. Does this mean that all undimensioned features or surfaces need to be scanned with a CMM and then compared to the CAD model? Would this have to be recorded on a first article inspection report? And these are all really great questions, and we're going to dig into it with this example drawing that I show right here. Now, the unless otherwise specified statement can be in a lot of locations and put on a drawing in a lot of ways. We can have an unless otherwise specified tolerance for profile of a surface or position or even any of the other GD and T symbols. But more often than not, what we see is something that looks like this. In the title block, there's an unspecified tolerances. Now, there's unspecified size tolerances, generally based on the decimal places we see on the drawing. So here we see a so here we see if in the field of view we have a dimension that has an unspecified tolerance and it has two decimal places for the dimension, the tolerance applied to that unspecified dimension is plus or minus ten thousands. If it has three decimal places on the dimension, the tolerance is plus or minus five thousands. We also have a unspecified surface finish, but here we see an unspecified all surfaces profile of 0 0.03 with respect to A, B, and C. Now, hopefully we have A, B, and C already identified on the drawing as the datum reference frame. We'll utilize datum feature A, and datum feature B, and datum feature C to set up our 0, 0, 0. But if anywhere in the drawing here has any sort of unspecified tolerance for any feature, we get to apply that profile of a surface to that feature. So here I've highlighted a handful of basic dimensions that are defining surfaces that don't actually have a tolerance applied to them in the field of view. So this entire cutout here in the middle has no profile of a surface callout directly applied to it in this field of view or over here. In the same way, we have these surfaces of the two tabs. Their profile is unspecified for a tolerance in the field of view. So if they're unspecified, we go to the title block, or perhaps there's a note here that has an all surfaces unspecified. And fun fact, any note here overrides any tolerances here. It's kind of a order of operations. You can put a note here that will override anything that happens in here. So if there's conflicting unless otherwise specified tolerances uh, in either the notes or the title block, the notes take precedence, then you go to the title block. So the second part of that question is, does this mean that any undimensioned features or surfaces need to be scanned with a CMM and then compared to the CAD model? And the answer to that is kind of it depends, right? Uh, really what the drawing is saying is, here are the specifications for a good part. This cutout here has a profile of a surface callout attached to it, maybe not in the field of view, but definitely down here. It'd be the equivalent if I just came up here and put that same feature control frame right there. We just didn't need to put it in the field of view because we can kind of blanket apply it to a lot of features rather quickly. Uh, we don't have to send it to a CMM. Profile of a surface is not a symbol that has to go to a CMM. You don't have to scan it. You don't need to get hundreds or dozens of points for that surface. You can check profile of a surface uh, with manual hand tools. A height gauge is just fine if the surface is simple enough. Now, more often than not, profile of a surface is applied to complex or irregular natural surfaces that are really hard to check manually and are just a lot easier to check when you compare it to a CAD model. In those instances, to check this tolerance, yeah, you might have to send it to a CMM. You don't have to scan a thousand points. There's no standard out there that tells you how to inspect that part. You just need to be confident that that surface is within the tolerance defined by this feature control frame. And that is the specification on the drawing. Now to the last part of this question, would this have to be recorded on a first article inspection report? And that is a really deep question, right? Because more often than not, first article inspection reports require us to check every specification on a drawing 100%. Now you might have to do that for one part or 10 part or 100 parts, depending on the different first article inspection report process or the PPAP process you're working through. Different customers, different vendors, suppliers require different levels of inspection. Some first article inspection reports might only require you to check the ones that are identified as critical features. Some of them will require you to check 80% of the features. There's going to be some plan or inspection plan in effect for this drawing that defines which dimensions 
need to be inspected and how many parts need to be inspected. So uh, again, there's no standard out there. There's no uh, one way to inspect this drawing. You have to report to the inspection plan and hopefully that's been laid out for you during either the sales process or the communications between whoever ordered the parts, bought the parts, designed the parts, or is looking for the report from that first article inspection. How detailed does that report need to be? If they say that this profile or this profile down here, the unspecified tolerance needs to be inspected, well then anytime we apply that unspecified tolerance to any feature in our drawing, then yes, we need to inspect that profile of the surface uh, and make sure we have line items in our inspection report to make sure that that feature passes its specification. So again, to answer the three questions quickly, uh, yes, you can see unless otherwise specified profile of a surface on a lot of drawings, it's becoming very common. Uh, you can also see position and any other sort of tolerances like we see in our drawing here. And the second question is, does this mean that all undimensioned features and surfaces need to be scanned with the CMM and then compared to the CAD model? No, you don't have to use a CMM. You can use manual tools to check profile of a surface. In fact, a lot of our courses show you how to do that. And you can also check them with a CMM if they are a difficult surface or maybe the datum reference frame is hard to simulate. CMMs are a useful tool to speed up the process, but not a necessary tool just because profile of the surface is applied. And the last part of the question is, would this have to be recorded on first article inspection report? And it just depends, right? It depends on which specifications uh, need to be reported during that first article inspection. That should be outlined in an inspection plan. gd and specifically, or any of the standards there within, do not define which specifications have to be inspected and reported. However, I will say that if the inspection report or the first article inspection requires you to check the drawing 100%, then absolutely this profile of a surface is definitely included. Uh, so any unspecified feature, surface, profile, uh, specification, and again, this unless otherwise specified tolerance can be applied to a lot of features, which will create multiple line items from one feature control frame. Those definitely need to be inspected if the inspection for the first article is 100%. So they will be included in that scenario. So hopefully that helps clarify your question and thanks for submitting. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd &T and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles